Hi all, and thanks for watching. This is the 109th video of my Kingdom Come Deliverance playthrough. And I'm still working on the main quest of Siege, so we're just going to get back in the game and get started. Okay, so I'm just going to open this up, and as you can see, we're on the main quest siege. And I'm working on getting the potions for the actual campaign here. And as I said in the last video, I spent some time actually making most of the potions without recording, as I didn't really want you to sit through me making potions for a half hour. And I'm down to the last potion. And during this time that I was making potions, the trebuchet is actually completed and we're to return to see that be tested. So I'll just finish this last potion and we'll head back. Okay, so we'll just make this last potion quick. Just need mint and valerian. We're making um, Akarel potions, I believe that was what it was called. Um, so we just gotta add this last ingredient oil it for two more turns, and then distill it. Okay, yeah, Cockerel potion. So we're all set with the potions we need. We'll just head back to Talonburg and we'll watch the demonstration here. Okay. And hopefully that's all the quests we need for the camps. So let's head over, drop off the potions. And then we'll go over and watch the test. Yeah. Hung up on all this brush. Come on. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to go off the cliff side there. That might not be good. Yeah.
Hopefully it stops raining. Yeah. Okay. God be with you. This might help, and there's plenty of it. There certainly is. I'll have to get all those poured into a keg. But if it works, I can do that. I just want to make sure we get rid of those bastards holed up in the castle. No more than I do, Lan. And to see Istvan hang from the highest tower. I'll drink to that. Well, I would if I wasn't on duty. <laughs> oh, Townburger. So we unlocked an achievement. Um, what is your impression of Master Kieser? Sir Hanush thinks he's insane. As crazed as one of those dung-smeared fools reciting the New Testament backwards in the street. But what do you think? Sometimes I think a little craziness is no bad thing. Master Kieser's seen and lived through a lot in his time in foreign lands. And those rockets he was talking about. It all sounds like the babbling of a madman. Maybe. I'd like to see them. Shooting off. Screaming through the sky like comets. I'm sure they'd be a sight to behold. Take care. All right. So I assume that's all the help we needed to give to the camps in order to prepare and I guess we'll go check out this test so I I still think a trebuchet is just a, a catapult of some kind I didn't actually look it up in my notes but that's kind yeah. of the assumption that I I have so let's go see if I was right Uh, I wish this rain would stop. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like it's a weighted catapult, has a weight at the bottom so it swings through. God bless you. What troubles you? Master Fayfar, how's the trebuchet construction going? Much better now that I have Master Keezer to help me. Although to be quite honest, it's more a case of me helping him. I'm taking note and learning as I go. Next time round, you'll be the Siege Master. I rather hope they won't be here next time. How's work going with Master Kieser? Excellent. His knowledge of machinery and mechanics is absolutely astonishing. He's a very gifted man. So you're confident the trebuchet will do its job? Absolutely. It's plain to see Master Kieser knows exactly what he's doing. How much longer do you think it will take? I wouldn't like to hazard a guess. As I understand it, the base is quick to make, but the other parts are more complicated. And then there's all the balancing and setting the trajectory and range. I see. Well, I hope it's ready soon. So do I, Henry. See you later. Okay, I'm going to actually wait here. And hopefully this rain will stop. We'll wait a couple hours here. Excellent. Okay, so the rain has stopped. 
So let's um, see who do we have to talk to here. Let's see how strong those walls are. Let it rip! <laughs> uh, that was just the first shot. The trebuchet has to be calibrated. That's perfectly normal. I'll have the range in no time. Move. Move. Damn it, I have to get to Sir Divish. Sir. They're coming. There's no time. Someone bring water. Breathe, man. You'll be all right. Who's coming? There's an army on the way. And they're carrying the colors of Havel Medic, of Valdek. And they're very close. Havel Medic is surely not coming to help us. Not that bastard. I have a score to sow with him. Gentlemen, Toth's reinforcements are about to descend on us. That swine. How many men? We don't know exactly, but there are many, and they will probably be here by dawn. So soon? How is it that we knew nothing about this before? The whole land is in chaos. It's a wonder we can find out anything at all. If they attack from the rear... We'd be finished, just as Toth has been planning. The sneaky weasel. He's been one step ahead of us the whole time. Not this time, though. What are you thinking? Robard, how do you think the weather will be tomorrow? Uh, well, sir, uh, if my joints don't deceive me, and they rarely do, it'll rain. It'll rain buckets. Here. We'll make a stand here, I and Radzig's men. You will wait until they charge us, and then strike them from the rear. Here, and here. If we succeed, we'll have it over and done with before they notice anything in Tampa. It might just work, but we'll have to leave someone in the encampments in case they do come out of Talberg. A few men will be all I need. Well, that depends on whether you can hold out. We don't even know how many there are. We will hold out. I'll give the orders to my men. We will be ready. My part in the battle, sir. I wanted to go with the Scalitz men. I need more than that from you. More, sir? If we can't hold out at the quarry, we're finished. You, I, Hanish, and Radzik. And since Hanish is commanding the flank attack, Radzik is captive and I'm wounded, Captain Robard will be leading on the field. Of course. Who better? There's no question Robard's a good commander. But many of the men will be from Scalitz. We need someone there who knows them and has their respect. Sir? I mean you, Henry. But... that is... Sir, do you really think I'm someone the men could look up to? Henry, if it weren't for you, we wouldn't even be here today. And everyone knows that. Except you, it seems. 
In the battle, you and a group of Scarlet's men will be concealed in the woods over the road. But, sir, I think I should... Quiet. Don't underestimate the task I'm setting you. You'll have to keep nervous men on a short reign and not attack too soon. And then conduct the attack on the rear so fiercely and quickly that the foe has no chance to react. If the line should start to break, we need someone with their head firmly on their shoulders to keep control of the men. Hmm. Very well, sir. That's what I like to hear. When you're ready, go and join the Scallet's men. They'll be mustering in the woods above the road to Rete. Okay, so this battle just got quite a bit more interesting. If you thought you'd be spending the whole siege sitting on your arses playing dice and swilling ale, you were sadly mistaken. Have a medic! is bearing down on us with his band of goat fuckers. And if there's one thing we pride ourselves on in Talmberg, is that we defend the honor of our goats. <laughs> oh, that's a good way. Okay, cold steel hot blood. When you're ready, go to the battleground. Okay. So I guess that's where we're headed. Let's check our potions and stuff. Lazarus, Marigold. All right. I guess I should have stocked now up on vision. potions while I was actually Get getting all those other ones we'll taken drain care of. Their blood. Okay, what about the horse? What do you got? Marigold. Okay. So let's head down. Yeah. This is a fair ways out, so I guess we're going to be trying to take out this ongoing, oncoming group. This should be interesting. Okay. Game save. Just a little longer. Five minutes oh. inside. Oh. Uh, not yet. Easy. Easy. First troops to the bridge! Break through! Vanguard! To the left! And the rest, come with me! We'll flight the bastards! Oh, At them! Charge! Ride those horses into the dirt! Oh wait, I don't have my sword. Let's see. Why is my sword not equipped?
All right, so let's try that again. Problem was I got to the back of the group and got surrounded there. So I have to stay at the front, but kind of work my way around. Ho, ho. Okay, so we got eight, nine of us. Easy, easy. Just a little longer. Not yet. Easy man. Damn it! They were expecting us! First troops to the bridge! Break through! Vanguard! Oh to the left! And the rest, come with me! We'll fight the bastards! At them! Charge! Run those horses into the dirt! Is their leader. Oh, what? This boy. You should show a little more respect, Divish. You'll need it when you kneel before Istvan. Oh, <laughs> now the pup shows his teeth. Hmm. 
Istvan, you say. Not Sir Istvan or Lord Toth. Just how intimate are the two of you? I know him. He's Eric, Toth's captain and right hand man. Finally, some good news. Shackle him and guard him closely. Those bastards want to destroy our trebuchet. This must be that last group that brought in off the opposite way. Oh, the trebuchet is fair ways away. We're having to run there. Okay, I'd say we're just a little over halfway there now. Let's take a look at the journal quick. Family values. Okay. <coughs> Single man down, I don't think. Nowhere to hide. Oh, is that the enemy coming out? Oh, okay. Try and get it around with me. to know. Okay. 
let's see, can I take a potion? No, I don't think I can, I'm still in combat. <laughs> The damage isn't too serious. So we can shoot? Not just yet. Sir, what are we waiting for? You've heard his threats, Robard. Do you want him to kill Radzik and my wife? We have to consider all our options. And it would be a shame to destroy the castle, too. But how do we get that rat out of there? Sir, I might have a solution. What about exchanging hostages? He was the captain at Vranjik. And he bought Istvan's reinforcements here. He seems to be on very um, intimate terms with Toth. He might be able to tell us something. And he might even be as valuable to his lord as Lady Stephanie and my father are to us. <laughs> You're your father's son, by God. You're a godson, lad. You're right. We'll interrogate this whore, son, and then decide what to do next. Come to my tent when you've rested. Excellent. So I guess I can put away my sword. And let's take a marigold. Heal up a little. Now, how are we? Energy's good. Nourishment's fairly good. Health is 70. Okay, so what do we got for a quest now? Family values. Join the briefing in the tent. Guess it would be that tent there. Start talking, or make your peace with God. Do your worst. I won't betray my lord. Ah, Henry! Just the man I want. This fool would rather hang than sing. You know more about him than we do, so maybe you can get something out of him. Well now, Eric. It is Eric, isn't it? Looks like the boot's on the other foot this time, doesn't it? Fuck you. You need to change your tone. If you start being nice, you might just come out of this alive. So now I'll ask you a few questions, and you'd better think carefully about how you answer them. Who is this Toth? He's an orphan, same as me. The Turks killed his parents, so he started killing Turks. Sigismund needed men like that, so Istvan ended up in his service. What is he after? Are you really that clueless? To destroy Wenceslas's allies, you. How did you meet him? He killed my parents. What? Toth killed your parents? You could never understand. They were weak. Istvan strong. He took better care of me than any father. How many men does he have in the castle? How should I know? There were nearly 70 of us at the beginning. But there's probably not even half left. But that's still more than there ever were in that castle. 
more than enough to defend it. Ah, I got another achievement, fruit. Who does he take his orders from? Are you stupid? He works for Sigismund. Listen to me. Toth has hostages in the castle, and we have you. So, how about an exchange? Do you take him for a fool? Do you really think he'd give up the only thing he has that stops you from attacking? He'll never accept an exchange. You better pray he will, for your own sake. Because once we attack, you'll be worthless to us. And what do you suppose will happen to a worthless bandit? I won't waste any more time on you. You could have saved yourself, but apparently you value your master's skin more than your own. I don't need to save myself. Ishtavan will save me. And he'll kill every last one of you. Why should he save you? He'll sacrifice you, just like everyone in Vranik and Pribislavitz. You're nothing but a common bandit. You don't know anything. He'll come for me, and anyone who lays a finger on me will pay dearly. Now I'm curious. Why would he care that much about you? Could it be your lovers? You'd never understand! For a while there, I thought we'd get nothing out of him. But in the end, he spilled his guts. I thought you were much too easy on him. But it seems your approach was the right one. Well done, lad! Anyway, it's clear that young fellow is no ordinary brigand. And he believes Toth cares about him. We'll just have to see if the bastard cares as much about him as Divish does about his wife and you about your father. Well, Divish, I think the time has come to find out just how much Toth values our hostage. Do you want to parley with him yourself? I think I'll leave that to you, Hamish. So be it. I'll do my utmost. Bring the hostage below the battlements. Sir Istvan! What is it? Did our neighborly visit catch you unprepared? A little, but we've settled in nicely. And this fellow is enjoying our company so much, we simply can't get rid of him. It seems we are in similar situations. Perhaps it's time to send our respective guests home. Not a chance. Do you take me for a fucking fool? Be warned. If anything happens to Eric, I'll let every man jack here have his way with this bitch, and I'll dice Kobila into goulash meat. Nobly spoken, your grace. But for all I know, you may have done that already. Divish, I'm sorry. Greetings, friends. Fear not, Lord Toth is treating us like royalty. They're unharmed, as you can see. But don't try any tricks or they won't be for long, Hanush. It seems your lord doesn't place any great value in you, boy. Go to hell. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. It looks like it's not going to be that easy. Well, at least we know they're alive. I didn't expect much of it anyway. He won't harm them as long as we have this fellow. Well, friends, what do you suggest? I'd say we have no choice but to attack. Hmm. It's a great risk, Robard, with Stephanie and Radzig inside. I know how you feel, sir, but Toth is no fool. They are his last safeguard. He will do nothing to harm them until he is sure of victory. Would you be saying that if it were your wife inside? Or your father? 
Well, let me point out that we have no choice anyway. We don't have enough supplies to keep men here for weeks, while gangs of brigands and Sigismund's army roam the countryside. Hmm. Toth won't agree to an exchange, and even if he did, we'd have to let him go. With all his men, he'd be a thorn in our sides till Judgment Day. Sir, a message has arrived. Oh, what is it? Margrave Jobst is approaching with his retinue and wants to speak with you. Jobst, you say? All right. Mm. What is he doing here? Who's Jobst? Jobst of Luxembourg is cousin to King Wenceslaus and Sigismund. He's the Margrave of Moravia. Only a year ago, he was collaborating with Sigismund and the League of Lords. He betrayed King Wenceslas and his ally Prokop. Now, he's changed sides, appointed himself the leader of the rebellion against Sigismund, and wants to liberate Wenceslas. Whichever way the wind blows. Nevertheless, it seems the decision is made for us. We don't want Jobst camping with us in front of our own castle like a band of gypsies. Hmm. I'm afraid you're right, Hanush. All right. We'll let the men rest a while and then attack. Come to me when everything is ready. Well, I quite enjoyed that. So let's have a look. What are we doing now at this point? Okay, an oath is an oath. Talk to Sir Divish once you're ready. Okay, so let's take a look at the player here. Freshman energy's okay. Probably get something to eat. Okay, so I think we're all good. But where do we have to go here? Oh, over there. He's on the opposite side of the river there. So let's call our horse. You know, I yeah. find it funny, people walk into you when you're on your horse and they always yell at you as if it's your fault. Okay, so let's cross the river here. like Sir Dips there. Oh, I'm glad you came. At your service, sir. I'm about to give the order to bombard Talmberg. And since it's mainly thanks to you that we still have a trebuchet, I think you should have the honor of the first shot. But, sir, I have no idea how. Master Kieser and Master Fafar have prepared everything. There's nothing to it. The men will load the trebuchet. All you have to do is pull the lever. Well, I suppose I could manage that. Then we'll bombard Talmberg for several days. Sir Robard will explain what comes next. Take care. Okay. Fire the trebuchet. So I guess we've got to head back. Yeah. Come on, it's only a small bank. There we go.
Okay. Yeah. Well, let's make our way back up to the trebuchet here. And I guess this is going to start the final siege, maybe? Not sure. Good day. What do you think of Master Kizer? He definitely knows what he's doing. And all that wild talk of his. Rockets and such like. I'd almost let him try it out, but on some other castle. Do you think there's any truth in it? I've never seen such weapons used, so I can't really judge. But if his ideas worked, they'd change the way we make war. He showed me some of the drawings he has with him. I don't know if he's a genius or a madman. There was precious little in it, and we could have lost everything. That's how it goes in war. But God stood by us. And in the end, they're nothing but a bunch of filthy cutthroats. They're sneak thieves and assassins. But does that make them real soldiers? Well, they're apt to wait till a man nips off into the bushes to relieve himself, lifts up his chainmail tunic, and stab him in the back. Personally, I'd rather face a proper soldier. Because you know just who you're up against. That's probably why Toth is giving us such a hard time. Good luck, then. Okay. Who's this fellow? Just a villager. There's a guard. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? We came just in time, didn't we? Quite, quite. I thought my last I had come. But Lord Capon came to our defence and fought like a lion. I'd say he's growing into a proper nobleman at last. I think more people will be changing their minds about him. They should. I owe him my life. God bless him. See you later. Okay, so what's the deal here? Fire the trebuchet. All you have to do is pull the lever. Okay, it looks like they're getting all set here. Are you all right? All right? All right! He tried to kill me! But... I... It seemed like... It was Pekar! He's lying right there! And you let him go! You told me to my face that I had nothing to fear! Keep out of my sight, you hear? I might have been killed for pity's sake! Yeah, I made a mistake. Are you all right? All right? All right. But... It was Pekar! And you keep out of my sight! So he won't really talk to me? He's upset with me. Oh, well, I did make a mistake, but... I really couldn't just kill the guy at the time without being sure. And unfortunately, he... he Came crouching through the bushes right in the exact spot where I was so I was kind of caught off guard at that time but I mean it all worked out he's alive the assassin's dead he's not happy but he is still alive okay so where is this lever right there all right just checking the time here. I'm starting to get close to an hour on this video. Now I'm not really sure how long this next part will take, but I kind of want to do this whole part in a continuous playthrough without having to stop recording. So I think at this point I'll actually save it and the quest we're at is an oath. An oath is an oath. 
So once we start the next video, I'll start by firing this trebuchet and we'll get the battle underway. Now we have had a few battles and they seem to have gone fairly well. So I'm kind of happy up to this point. We got a few achievements, which was a good thing too. And things seem to be going all right. So as always, if there are any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.